Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Bottom of the deck, the Wheel of Fortune. Fantastic. So, Spirit. The Taurus Collective, what's coming towards them? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances for their very best and highest good? This is what's going on. Fool in reverse, okay? Uh, something is going to happen this week that this particular Taurus is not going to recognize, okay? The Fool in Reverse talks about not not the, your direction, not your path, not your purpose, not the way that the universe is trying to lead you, okay? It's foolishness. The Page of Swords in Reverse, this is, this is about your, your mind, okay? It's like not taking the initial stages of action in your mind, and I'll explain, okay? To the Four of Cups in reverse, emotionally stubborn, emotionally apathetic. So this reading is about a Taurus that is being moved in their spirituality, in their spiritual understanding to go in a direction and they are resistant. This is actually a lot like the big Taurus reading that I, not big, but this is actually a lot like the Taurus reading that I put out a couple of days ago, but it's kind of a compact kind of thing, okay? So the Six of Cups in reverse is about stuck in the past, and the Knight of Wands in reverse is about not taking any action. Okay. King of Cups in reverse talks about emotional disgruntledness, emotional volatility. Okay. What's going on here is the Hierophant. The universe is trying to impart some kind of direction to this particular person's life. Okay. And this particular person is stuck in in the past it's like something worked for this person before it's not working now but this particular Taurus doesn't want to put in any effort to take any kind of action to do something different because they think that what worked in the past is going to continue to work and it's not chariot in reverse. It's not going to work. Your emotional volatility about the situation is on point because it's not going to work. And the fool in reverse says, it is foolish of you, page of swords in reverse, not to take action in your mind and to be emotionally apathetic, emotionally volatile about the lack of forward progress with the chariot in reverse. Okay. I asked, okay, and let me, uh, hold on. So the Hierophant, right? This is the card of Taurus, no less, but this is wisdom. This is spiritual wisdom. This is discerning messages. This is being able to hear and understand what your soul's direction is trying to speak to you about. It was kind of convoluted, okay? But that's what this hierophant is about. Sure, is it about commitment? Absolutely, because the hierophant was the person who went in the temples in the olden days and disseminated, received and then disseminated the messages of the Most High, okay? So it's absolutely about commitment and obligation and all of that kind of stuff because that's what that person had to have, okay? So... There is, there is movement in this particular Taurus, okay? I asked what these double six of cups in reverses were about, and it's the page of pentacles, okay? You're trying to grow in the same old place, and for some reason you don't want to leave the same old place, and that's what the two six of cups in reverse is about. Look, the eight of wands in reverse, right? 
Um, delay, stalling, dragging your feet. Delay, stalling, dragging your feet. Two, the Princess of Cups in reverse. This is, this is the direct result of the stifled creativity in your life. You can't get something going. You can't get the juices going. To the Ten of Wands in reverse, and it's overwhelming to the Nine of Swords, and it's some kind of anxiety. The Ten of Cups in reverse in the center of the reading. You can't seem to gain some kind of emotional peace or emotional equilibrium to the Four of Cups. And the cards are saying you need to reconsider how you're going about doing this because remember you're emotionally apathetic in that Four of Cups in reverse. You're not paying attention to what Source is trying to tell you, to show you, to get you to do this week. The Four of Cups, contemplate and reevaluate how you're going about doing this. To the Sun in reverse. The Sun in reverse is about not seeing clearly how it is that you're creating your own unhappiness because you keep banging your head against the same wall expecting something that used to be to emerge again whether it's work money career finance love romance family relationships whatever it is you want it to be like it was and it cannot be like it was anymore okay the Seven of Swords on top of that Ten of Cups in reverse. This is trying to get away with something. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse, upset in the home, the family, the finances. Hold on. To the Ten of Cups. Um, to the Hangman, okay? To the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Cups in reverse, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and the Five of Swords. So let's explain it this way. Five of Swords. This is a white knuckle grip on some kind of win at all costs mentality. And it's directly associated with the with the Six of Cups, the two Six of Cupses in reverse. Okay? You're stuck on repeat and you keep trying to do the same thing wanting some new results, but it's doing nothing but actually hurting you. It's Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Cups in reverse, the Sun in reverse, Nine of Swords, okay? It's, it's a problem. Whatever this is, is a problem, okay? The hangman says you need to take a step back and, and reconsider how you're going, uh, just like the Four of Cups, right? Reconsider how you're going about doing things. Ten of Cups in reverse because the Seven of Swords, right? You're trying to get away with something. It's not like you're trying to get away with something as much as it is a shortcut, right? You, you don't want to take inspired action to do something different. And the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and this is the result, okay? The Ten of Cups, if you want what it is that you want, High Priestess, follow your intuition follow this this internal guidance this wisdom that is trying to be imparted upon you and this wisdom is for you to do something different look the empress on top of the high priestess this is how you, you need to handle your life this is how you need to handle yourself you need to understand that your your gut feelings are your soul trying to lead you to your very best and highest good because it knows where you came from. It knows what you're supposed to be doing here and it knows why it makes a difference on the other side. It's always going to lead you and guide you to your best and highest good every sing every single time. The Empress under the card of Taurus, by the way, Libra too, but we're talking Taurus here. The Empress also understands that what she thinks about comes about. So she's very, very careful what she allows herself to believe. Okay. And the high priestess and the Empress says, and the Hierophant, no less, we are trying to lead you to the Ten of Cups, but you must do something different. Six of Swords. We will show you how to get there, but you must leave behind this, this die, ride or die mentality. Seven of Swords in reverse. Break free from a futile mentality. The Prince of Cups in reverse to the Lovers in reverse because your emotional attachment to this particular thing 
is not aligning you with universal order. It's clouding the atmosphere. The beacon can't find you. It can't, you can't find it, right? There is a universal blockage right here. And they are, Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck, they are trying this week big, huge, gigantic, or teeny, tiny, small, they are trying to show you this week the next step, the next phase of your success, your path, and your purpose, okay? But this particular Taurus is just dead set on not changing something. The Hierophant, again, right? We're trying to impart soul wisdom on you. We are showing you what to commit to, what to work on to the seven of cups, but you're not paying attention. Five of pentacles, because you're not paying attention and you're trying to do this all by yourself, there is not success associated with it. Look, the six of wands, to have victory, progress, and success, change with the eight of wands, your frequency and your vibration judgment by making a conscious cognitive decision to see that the universe is trying to do something for you here and cooperate with the nine of wands. Fight the good fight. Fight the good fight. Point your intentions and your alignment towards your true north, which is through your intuition, justice, and be accountable. Five of swords in reverse. Let go of this, I gotta make this work mentality, temperance in reverse, because it is, it is causing you to leak out the bottom of your life. The moon, come to terms with the struggle between that which you know to be true and that which you simply just don't want to accept is the truth. Alchemist in reverse, because you can't manifest the life that your soul came here to live in that energy. Nine of Pentacles, bring it to an end, bring it to a culmination, stand in your power, Four of Swords, and come to terms with the grief, the sorrow, and the pain that is keeping you knee deep in your past. The past being yesterday, okay? There is something that this Taurus is refusing to let go of. And the universe, your life, your soul is screaming at you to let go of it so you can be guided to the next phase of your life. Turning points. The divinely orchestrated steps of your life instead of the flesh and bone orchestrated steps of your life. Let go of your flesh understanding of your human experience and embrace your soul's understanding of your soul's experience. Namaste. Who do you think you are and why? Despite what you have been told and despite what you may believe about yourself, you are important, your existence has meaning, and your life has purpose. Let me show you how to find the ancient soul buried beneath your expectations and society's labels. Let's explore your true self, who you are at your core, to live a peaceful and meaningful life. We will dissect the concepts of spiritual growth and prepare you for the path ahead, your true purpose with self-paced, step-by-step guidance to unbox your mind and free your soul. Walk with me through the journey of spiritual awakening with thought-provoking insight that will challenge everything you think you know about the who, what, where, when, and why of this crazy thing called life. Life doesn't have to be a struggle. There is a better way, and your truth will set you free.